Hey everyone, it's day 150 of Walk with Winston and I decided to celebrate for this milestone walk. I would take you on a walk in my absolute favorite park that's about a mile and a quarter from my house. This is uh, one of the gems in Hillsborough County, Florida, Lettuce Lake Park. And it is drop dead gorgeous here today and my favorite color of uh, of renewal that that peak of green when a leaf is coming out for the first time it's it's a very different color than the rest of the year that's the kind of green that is surrounding me here at this uh, waterfront park here in Tampa so I hope that you're having a great day wherever you are and that you are taking a moment to savor this beautiful planet that we have and this beautiful day that we have the opportunity to be in the moment of. Uh, the last couple weeks have been really revolutionary for me and my mindset because I have started each day with a different level of, of intentionality and it's been focused as I mentioned on the last walk on the word um, gratitude, uh, the concept of gratitude and the word appreciation and how as you appreciate, yeah, you know, whatever you appreciate grows, right? That's the financial version of appreciation. But I think it's also an emotional cue as well. You know, the fact that we appreciate life, appreciate the small moments of uh, beautiful weather and beautiful colors and sunshine and skies just fills you with hope. It fills you with anticipation of what could be. And so it reminded me of a, of a truism that I've heard from many thought leaders, which is if you want to change your life, you really have to work backwards and you have to start with change your thought. So in every encounter we have in life, we're constantly on the lookout for different inputs and uh, we can't change any external part of our life. The fact that this wind could blow it and throw my phone into the water over here or um, that I somehow stub my toe on a board or something like that. I can't change that external situation but what I can change is my thought and the meaning that I give any particular situation in my life. So when I change that thought that in turn changes a feeling. So I, I have a thought, I associate a meaning to it, that in turn triggers a feeling, which then triggers an action or reaction. And once I go down that chain, it's really hard to kind of stop the train. But if I can take a break between the, the, uh, the input, what's coming at me, if I can pause in that moment between the external situation and my immediate thought about it and I reframe that thought or I change that thought and give it a positive empowering meaning then my whole experience of that situation is completely and radically changed and I've noticed this a lot over the last couple of weeks as I focused on this word appreciation because I am seeking what I can appreciate about a particular situation and it's made me feel so much more alive. Ooh, that's a bad, <laughs> that sunset is really bad in your face there. Um, it's given me more agency, given me more, uh, given me the opportunity to be more responsible for what's going on in my life. And may, I may not like all the external stuff that's happening in my life, but because I have the power to change my meaning and my interpretation of what's going on, I can radically change my feelings about it, I can change my actions about it, and ultimately my actions lead to certain consequences or certain outcomes, all stemming from that empowering meaning that I'm giving to that external situation. Um, and in the last couple weeks, just starting with the idea that that feeling of appreciation 
part of my morning ritual now is really taking that word and making it feel very powerful in my chest kind of looking at it almost like it's almost like a object in a sense the way I'm viewing it and I'm looking at it and exploring it and really incorporating it into my my chest and in doing so it has dramatically changed my thought process in terms of saying you know what I don't like this particular situation but I can see it from this other person's perspective for a change or you know rather than get into a busy cycle and say that I don't have any choice about it I can say hey I can do this for a little bit and and really enjoy it or instead of falling into my habits of kind of detaching from the world and and just watching TV I can go out for a really pretty nice walk like tonight well my encouragement to all of us today is to find a word like appreciation that can serve as an emotional anchor for us and help us as a touchstone help us begin to rethink what's going on in our life and to put a more empowering meaning behind it and when we do our life is going to radically change I'm so excited about what uh, is in front of me you know what uh, I feel these big changes are afoot and because I am tuning into those those feelings those feelings are coming from an empowering initial thought of how I'm viewing the world and how I'm interpreting all the inputs that I'm facing on a day-to-day -day basis not all of them are positive in fact the vast majority of them could be rather discouraging at times but because I'm choosing to interpret them with this new filter or framework, I'm seeing opportunities that I hadn't seen before. They've been here the whole time, but now I'm seeing them because I've changed my perspective. So my friends, change may be really, really simple. It may not be as hard as we think if we can interrupt our interpretation of the world with an empowering new meaning give it a try for seven days and let me know i bet you begin to see the same kinds of things i'm seeing uh, in life with that you guys have a great day i'll talk to you again soon